Hey guys, John here with Sarge Reds. Thanks for joining us. Um, what we're going to go over today is a collection of vintage toys that I picked up. For those of you who follow on Instagram, um, you might have seen the tease um, of the picture I put up of this giant bin of toys. Wait a second. For those of you who aren't following us on Instagram, why not? You should be following us on Instagram. It's not that hard. If you don't use Instagram, well, whatever. Um, that's where I'll showcase a lot of these toys. So if you're not following us on Instagram, it's Sarge underscore and underscore Reds. Um, on Instagram, or you can find links on our Facebook page. Wait, you're not following us on Facebook? Good job. <laughs> not that hard to find us. At Sergeant Reds on Facebook. Easy to find. Anyways, let's go back to the video. Um, so, I put up a picture of this collection of toys that I picked up, and it's um, stuff from probably like the early 80s um, and up through, I don't know, maybe the 90s. I haven't actually had a chance to go through it all. Um, what had happened is I was meeting a gentleman to purchase some action figures that he had that were on the card, some Terminator, Batman, and stuff like that from uh, early 90s, I guess. Um, and I went over to the house and started talking to him. And actually, uh, him and his wife were having a baby, and that's why they were getting rid of a lot of the stuff. It was just taking up space. So I was like, hey, man, I got a bunch of baby stuff in the bed of my truck because I was actually going to go to Goodwill. I had like a baby swing and some baby toys and stuff that you know our kids have outgrown. I said, you can just have this stuff if you want it. Um, I have no need for it. It was just going to go to Goodwill and, you know, you seem like good dude you can have this stuff and he was like cool man yeah i can use all the help i can get uh, so i unloaded the stuff out of the truck for him and uh, he goes hold on a second wait right here um so i was like okay he ran into the house and he starts bringing out bins um one after the other so as you can see here uh, we have the initial bin that i showed you was this big clear one right here um so he brought up this one and then he brought up this thing and then this here this is the stuff that i had initially gone there to purchase um some carded figures but um in that bin there i'm gonna kind of go through the stuff and put it in there so this is the stuff that i have i haven't had a chance to go through it all i figured uh why not go through it on camera be making a neat little video but just looking at the stuff on the top it looks like there's a lot of stuff from probably the 90s um 80s stuff like that so this ford apache thing that's probably that's gotta be from the 80s i'd imagine um but anyways, so we are going to go through that stuff. We are going to see what's in it. And you guys are going to join me for this and, you know, get to see kind of how um, I go through this stuff. Um, so let's see what we got. I'm going to put this thing on a tripod because you don't want well, me holding it. You'll get seasick. And I don't need you puking. So I'll be right back. Stay with us. Seriously, you too. You back there. Wait, I got a point here to make. All right. Okay, guys, I got the camera all switched around and ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the smaller bin first. Um, and then see how long that goes. And we might have to do two videos because there's a lot of stuff in that other bin. So to start, we got uh, this G.I. Joe figure, Rock and Roll with Gatling, the Gatling Gun Shoots. I thought that said Gatling Gun Sounds. But he's still in the uh, the packaging. Packaging you know, a little rough. But this is from 1992. So that's pretty cool. Age is five and up. My son is five. I better hide that from him. Then we got Dark Man, Dr. Peyton Westlake. So I remember watching this. We probably shouldn't have watched it as a kid because it was pretty gory. I think it was was it Liam Nielsen that played uh, Dark Man? I don't remember. But this is from Soda Toys. This is newer. This is from 2004. Well, I guess it's not new. It's 15 years old at this point. Um, but that's pretty cool. Still in the box. And then we got this these Microtechs. So these are like micro machines. It looks like. Um, different brand though but it's speed racer you got the three cars classic mach 5 shooting star and uh kabbalah formula one yeah, packaging's in a little bit of rough shape but the figures or the cars rather are in a uh, nice and minty since they're in the box still uh let's see what we got boris and natasha from rocky and bullwinkle we well, got the russian spies here they're always trying to get moose and squirrel that is the best russian accent i have moose and squirrel and it's not that good so I won't do any more accents, I promise. I can't promise that. That's a lie. I'm sorry. So then you got Dudley do right and um, Rocky. I guess uh, the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Horse. So does Horse have a name or is it just Horse? I guess it's just Horse. Yeah. I, I, again, I'm, I'm going to stop. All right. Um, then we got one more of these. It is Rocky and Bullwinkle. So the boxes on these are a little bit rough, but the figures are in good condition. So I don't know if anyone collects those. I'm sure someone does. Um... So next we got a bunch of loose stuff in here. Um, and again, I haven't gone through this stuff yet, so bear with me, guys. Uh, this is pretty neat. This is a... It's Geronimo. 
the Native American from Mark's Toys. So this is pretty cool because it has like all his accessories, or well, a lot of accessories. I don't know if that's all the ones that came with it or not, but the accessories in the manuals of these older toys are normally pretty hard to find because people would just toss this stuff and then they'd lose the um, lose the rest of the stuff. Because it's just small. I don't know what year this is from. Let's see if it says on here. I know it's not 1863 like it says on the top corner there. So that's probably from the 70s maybe. Maybe earlier than that. I don't see anything on. Uh, there's something there. I'm not going to make that out without my uh, jeweler's loop. That's cool. So we got a uh, Mega Man figure. It's a little filthy. Um, nothing like good wipe down. It just looks like it's just dirt. I mean, nothing big. Um, I don't know how loose that's supposed to be, but... Uh, you got Mega Man here, and he has... I think that's, that's supposed to be Mega Man, right? right? Did Mega Man have guns? I don't remember him actually having guns, but I remember playing the original games where uh, he shot everything out of his hand. Alright, cool. So we have some Masters of the Universe figures in here. Uh, Roboto. I think that's his name, right? Yeah. Still works. Legs are a little loose. Not too bad. So on these figures, the Masters of the Universe figures, these legs... The rubber inside of there will get decayed and they'll fall off or they'll become loose. And then sometimes they get twisted and you just can't seem to get them to twist back and you just need to replace them. Um, but that's man at arms. Paint looks pretty good on the torso. It's a little bit of dirt on the legs, but no accessories. Again, accessories is where it's at with these things because that stuff got lost all the time. Um, you got Fister here, Mr. Fisto. Um, Fisto, he's going to fist you. Wait, that's okay. Um, yeah. Fisto, not fist you. Okay, cool. Next, let's move on. Moving right along here. We got Jitsu. Um, he's supposed to have a little sword. He has his armor um, where Fisto didn't. I think Fisto had a purple sword and he had an orange sword. Like a katana. And you got a, uh, oh, what's his name? Web, Web Store, I think it is. Um, he's supposed to have a backpack with a grappling hook um, and some string attached to it. He doesn't have any of his stuff. Stinkor here. I think that, yeah, Stinkor, right? Um, he's missing his armor. He, he, he's supposed to have a skunk smell. It's, it's, it's kind of smells like old plastic. Um, so we got a Bozo the Clown, it looks like. Some of the stuff's dirty, so I don't know if he had this in his attic or what, but it's just like stuff that should come right off. Um, don't know when Bozo is from, but I can't imagine that this is newer, because Bozo the Clown hasn't really been marketed or around forever. It's probably from the 70s. One of those bendy toys. You got this guy. For those of you in the Marines, he has the knife hand going. He's like, he's he's going straight on. What are you doing? Get the hell off of my parade deck, numbnuts! Um, you know, what's up? Bring it. All right, I'm done playing with these. Uh, let's see, 1968 Lakeside Toys. So that's older than I am, which is hard to believe because I'm old. Got another one here. Um, looks like maybe a milkman or something. This one's a uh, 68 Buddy L Toys though. Another bendy figure. Oh my. This dude. Look how skinny he is. How is he going to win any boxing match? I would not be afraid. I would get in the ring with this guy. I mean, like, look at his chest. He's got the longest stomach in the world. Good God, man. Who would, would you fight him? Let me know in the comments below if you would fight this boxer. He has no muscle. Well, get out of here. You are, yeah. You're, you're, that's ridiculous. You are crazy. And then you got this guy. What is up with these things? Where, what company is this? Brabo? B-R-E-B-O, I guess. Made Hong Kong. Um, Imperial Toy. I have no idea on these guys. I'm going to have to do some research. Again, I haven't gone through any of this stuff yet, so this is all new to me. But he's got, like, it looks like a billy club. That's, like, not even the length of a bat. I mean, what kind of bat is that? Maybe he can go to he can go to town with a boxer or something. I don't know. Um, so what else we got here? We have a little Bugs Bunny figure. I guess he's, let's see, walk. Looks like he's maybe supposed to wind up, or I have no idea. 1969, Mattel, Hong Kong. So you turn his head, and it looks like his arms and legs kind of walk, but it looks like there's also something that's supposed to go on his back, so I don't know if he's supposed to have something. Soft head, kind of rubbery. Well, that's neat. What in... All right, guys, you're going like, to like, like this guy. Hey, ladies. What are you doing later? Want to go to the mall shop with me? I mean... I got nothing else going on. It's like supposed to be like Fonzie or something. I have no idea. Uh, that's, a, that's a sexy piece. That's that's like me when I was a kid. 
Then you got this guy. He looks like he's working on the docks or something, like maybe a pirate type figure. Um, I don't see any markings on him. His head goes forward and back, so he can say yeah. He can only say yeah. He's like, yes, man. Yep. He can't go side to side. He is a yes man, 100%. Uh, not sure. Maybe like a Buddy L type figure or something. I have no idea. Here's another one. It's got that same, like, yes action. Yes action. That's what we're going to start calling it. No marking, so I'll have to look those up. I think those are probably like Buddy L or something along those lines. And you got this fella. This is Tonka. He's on like a little stand. I don't know if he's... Well, I don't know what he is. He's green suit dude. There's a lot of like strange stuff in here. So here's another one. Oh wait, this one's got a hat. That's the same guy. Yeah, he was like supposed to be a forest ranger or something. I have no idea. Park ranger. You got the cowgirl. Oh, that's Tonka. So maybe those other ones are Tonka too. This one has Tonka on the back. She's got the uh, the yes action as well. Uh, good. <laughs> okay, so this is like a scuba diver. Same kind of style. We got another yes man pirate with. Yeah. Oh, what is that? He's got like bird feet. Do you see his feet? Look at this guy's feet. They're like bird feet. I don't know if he's supposed to be like an Aztec bird man or... It says Aru 1982. Main Hong Kong bird feet bendy man. Got it. Oh, this is a... um. Ugh. What are these called? I can't remember what this is called, what this line is. Oh, it's going to kill me. It's a Japanese lion. They're like robots that normally have things that shoot. So he probably has fists that go on there that would shoot off. I have something. I cannot remember what these are called for the life of me. I'm sure someone in the comments will know. Um, I know what they are. Just, the, the name is slipping me right now. Got another, whoa, another yes man there. Or no, that's not, that's just the Tonka guy. Oh, well, we got some legs in here. So we got a pair of legs that look like they... Probably go to like that cowgirl. It looks like similar legs to her. You got another uh, general here. Same thing. I think it looks like the same figure. You got Gilligan. A little uh, squeezy Gilligan. This is Filmation 1977 made in Taiwan. There's a lot of older stuff in here. I'm surprised because the guy was younger than me. Um, I think. I mean, Appaloosa. It's a horse. Um, what is this thing? It's a wizard. I do not know what a wizard is. There's something inside, like a gyro or something. All right, we just got a couple more of these like little uh, Tonka figures. Some more construction worker. Look at that guy. Hey, you gonna go to the mall shop later? Go to the library or something? I got my cool argyle sweater, my real skinny legs, and my giant head. Yeah, let's go. Alright, um, you got this little guy. Let's see. Little legs kick. I don't know if you should, I wouldn't put him in the water, but. Swimmer. Uh, uh, it doesn't work, I don't think. A little wind up horse, but he doesn't. Is not catching. I don't know if there's a way to fix that or not. I don't know if it's worth fixing. There's another little. Tonka dude. It's like a little micro machine or something. I don't know if man, I don't think it's a micro machine brand, but a little car. I've been looking for these. I lost these a while ago. Get the marbles here. I, I lost those probably about uh, 15 years ago. We got Ram Man. Just three more of these. Oh, yep, yep, cowgirl. Found her, found her body. Her legs are in there. It looks like the front's broken off, so she's she's toast. That's Landel Carissi in there, right there. So we got a little Star Wars figure in here. He's missing all of his accessories. A couple of Tonka figures. Another knockoff. A little Micro Machine. Uh, it's kind of rusted at the bottom. I can't tell what it is. What in God's name is this thing? It's like a bike that looks like it's supposed to shoot missiles. Doesn't have any markings on it. Uh, made in China. Oh, wait, what's that say? UK. I don't know, maybe that's a British toy? It says UK registration number on it, so. 
I have no idea what that is. Uh, what's this? Raphael, Ninja Turtle. So this is like a mix of everything. So maybe it was like some stuff that was his and some of it was dad's. I have no idea. Again, I'm just guessing how old he was. I have no idea how old the dude was. And looks like a set of Looney Tune mini ornaments. So that was from that first box. I am going to, um, and I might have to break this down into two videos. I don't know if you guys want to watch this entire thing. So that is one heavy box full of toys. So these are uh, some Dungeons and Dragon cards, 1992, obviously. It's still sealed in the box. I have a couple other boxes of these. Um, I want to say these go for like 20, 25 bucks um, sealed like that. They're not a game. It's just like trading cards. Uh, we got some more Microtex here. Again, I don't know if this is like a knockoff brand or or what of Micro Machines, but um, it's another Speed Racer one. Boxes in similar condition. All right, so some more stuff from box number two here. We got a vintage Garfield stuffed animal here. That he is 1981 is the last copyright date. So I'm assuming he's from 1981. Um, Johnny Lightning. That's from Walmart. It was three bucks, so it's probably not that old. Original 1964 mystery artwork, but it is uh, 96. So I guess that is pretty old. I feel old, Jesus. All right. Um. So we got the Scrooge McDuck gumball machine, and it's still got gumballs in it. If anyone is brave enough to eat those, um, feel free. But it's for use with pennies, nickels, and dimes. And I don't see a date on it. This looks like it's probably from the 80s. Um, yeah, I don't see a copyright date on it. The box is not in that great a condition. I don't know if this has been used and then just put back in the plastic or what. But anyway, Scrooge McDuck. That actually came back. Uh, DuckTales. I, think, I don't know if it's still called that, but we got Scooby Doo. Uh, wait a second. What's All right, wait. That's how I feel most of the time. Alright, that's pretty cool. When is that from? It's older. Um, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it. Looks like an older tag, though. Okay, so there's a lot of looks like McDonald toys in here. I think that's what these are, and I say McDonald toys, but I mean generic Happy Meal toys. That's Disney. I don't know what character that is. Just two of those. Um... Some of these little, I know I've seen these before. They're like um, little plastic figures from those movies, and they come in these boxes. The boxes are kind of, kind of beaten. Those ones. Um, yeah. So that looks like that is pure '80s or early '90s, right there. 1990. I was gonna say that you can just tell by the way that paper looks. But um, Barbie, McDonald's toy. What is this fella? Does anyone know what that is supposed to be? I have no idea what that is. It looks like, like an evil sperm or something that grew arms and legs. I have no idea what that thing is. I remember these. They were um, Super Mario Brothers 3. Happy Meals. Or, yeah. What, when, was this? when did Mario 3 come out? Oh, you pushed on this and the little turtle guy would jump. So those are pretty cool. Uh, oh wait, we got some accessories here. I don't know what these go to, but we got some hand grenades, a couple of rifles, and looks like I don't know what those are. Like push pins. They're not like from Battleship, but I don't know what that is. I'll figure that out later. We got a Dalmatian. I'm not gonna go through every one of these. These are kind of like lame little McDonald's toys. This one's probably not McDonald's, but it's Scar from Lion King. <laughs> I don't think that boot goes with this figure. Looks like it's a Power Ranger of some sort, but I don't remember there being a light blue Power Ranger. That boot does not go with it. There's no way that's supposed to be on there. That looks like it goes to maybe, that's a, well, it's got a Cobra emblem on the bottom, so my deductive skills of reasoning here are telling me that's a uh, G.I. Joe figure. Boot, probably similar to that. Okay, I was not a big Power Rangers fan. Is this a Power Rangers? And I apologize for holding you there, but, huh. You just push the back and it spins. I don't remember there being a Blue Ranger, but it looks like a Power Ranger, so. This is what's left in this bin. So you can see there's still a boatload of stuff. I'm not going to continue going through all this. It looks like it's mainly McDonald toys. I mean, you got some of these transforming ones. A couple more raisins. 
some fry guys, stuff like that. But um, I'll go through this later. Just it's gonna take a long time because this thing is packed. I mean, you got all kinds of stuff in here. It looks like it's mainly McDonald's toys, um, another Happy Meal type toys. You got the Mighty Max one. That one's pretty neat. But um, I think it ended up, you know, pretty good deal for uh, trading some old stuff that was gonna go to Goodwill anyways. Who remembers Mac tonight? But uh, this is huge. Um, this bin, there's a ton of stuff left in it. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing with this stuff is um, this is gonna go in like a, you know, I'll, I'll pick out some of the stuff that I think is better, but uh, some uh, more GI Joe. But um, it'll probably end up going in like the uh, you know 50 cent dollar bin type thing because there's just so much of it, and I don't know what has all the pieces, and I mean, some of it's probably just gonna end up going in the trash. Um, some of it. And who knows what else is in here. It's going to take a while to go through. So uh, let, let me know what you think, guys. you had any luck with um, these McDonald's toys, Happy Meal toys? I know some of the stuff has uh, some collectability and some people collect this stuff. Um, you know, it crosses over into a bunch of different lines. Anyway, guys, Sarge out. And uh, let me know what you think. And anything interesting I find in here will be up on Instagram uh, and Facebook.